Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. So this topic actually uh, the material from Krojeski books Operations Management 9th edition and Operation Management 7th edition. Okay, uh, part one, we have covered uh, three examples, item C, FOQ, item C, POQ, and item C, lot for lot. Now we continue. Okay, item C, H, I, J. Like the previous examples, we use the same master production schedule. For C, we use CFOQ. Okay. This is the inventory record for item H, I. Okay. We have discussed item C, FOQ in example 1 you can refer back example 1 if you want to know how we develop this MRP table for item C FOQ now we proceed to item H ok Hi item H FOQ 300 so we put in the table item H seat frame 300 lot size ok lead time 1 week schedule receipt 300 week 2 and beginning on hand inventory 40 yeah 40 Okay, for item I, lot size, lot sizing rule is lot for lot. Lead time is one week. And none schedule receipt. And none beginning on hand inventory. So here zero, this one zero. Okay, now we fill up the table. Okay. If you refer to the bill of material or product structure 3, H and I actually the subcomponent for seat sub assembly. So H and I actually relate to C. So from here you see C, okay, plan order release. 230 times 1 because here H1 so 230 week 2 plan order release become the gross requirement gross requirements for item H in week 2 ok same with I plan order release item C become the gross requirements for item I ok 1 so 230 times 1 so still 230 ok week 5 230 so here week 5 230 this one 230 so week 5 230 This one, okay. Projected on hand inventory 40, no gross requirement, so maintain 40 inventory in week 1, and then gross requirement 230. You only, okay, 230, you have schedule receipt 300. So here, 
inventory is 110. How you get 110? 40 plus 300 minus 230. So you got 110. No requirement. So uh, we just uh, transfer the inventory from week 2 which is 110. Here also 110. Now the gross requirement is 230. But you only have inventory 110. So not enough to fulfill the requirement. But to do, we need to order. What are the, uh, the rules that need to be followed? Here is actually FOQ. So we need to order fixed quantity, 300. Okay, so here 300. Okay, lead time is one week. So you place the order in week 4 so that you receive order of 300 in week 5. Okay, here inventory is 180. How you get 180? This 300 plan receipt of inventory in week 5 plus on hand inventory in week 4. So 300 plus 110 okay minus 230. So you get 180. Here no requirement. So 180, no requirement, 180, no requirement. So this one 180. Okay, done for item H. Now we proceed to item I. Item I, okay, no, uh, gross requirement week 1, 0, week 2, 230. No schedule receipt, no on-hand inventory. But we need uh, the requirement, we need to fulfill the requirement 230. What to do? So we need to order. How much to order? We refer to the lot sizing rule. Here is lot for lot. So lot for lot, you need 230, you order 230. When to order? Lead time is one week. One week before. So week one. Okay. Here. Zero requirement. Zero requirement. So zero inventory. Week five. Requirement is 230. No inventory. So we need to order. How many to order? 230. To fulfill the requirement. The requirements of 230. When to order? Lead time one week. So, you order in week 4 so that you receive 230 in week 5. Then only you can fulfill the requirements 230 in week 5. No requirement, no inventory. No requirement, no inventory. No requirement, no inventory. Okay, done for item I. Okay, now we proceed to item J. See here, J. Okay. This one relate to item H. Okay, so now we complete a uh, table, MRP table for J. So you put item here, J. Lot size is 1500. This one is FOQ. Lead time, one week. Schedule receipt, none. So all zero. Beginning on hand inventory is 200. So put here 200. Okay. Based on plan order release of H. Here 300 week 4. So this one 4. 4 quantity. That's why you times 4. So 300 times 4 is 1200. The requirement for week 4. Then we complete uh, the table. Okay, here requirement 0, project to hand inventory uh, 200, so transfer week 1 200, week 2 200, and then followed by week 3 also 200. We carry the inventory. Okay, week 4, the requirement is 1200. You only have 200 
in inventory so we need to order how much to order 1500 because it is FOQ so you order 1500 when to order one week before because the time is one week so you order 1500 in week 4 then your order receive in week 5 1500 so inventory in week 4 500 how you got this 500 this 1500 plus 200 minus 1200 so you got this 500 no requirement so just carry forward the inventory so this 500 and then 500 500 500 okay done for item j okay we have learned about material requirement requirements planning which focus on the materials okay mrp2 actually extend from material to manufacturing that's why we call it mrp2 Manu manufacturing resource planning so they extend not only cover on material but they extend to manufacturing as well okay and then we also have enterprise resource planning erp this is actually the next step in an evaluation that began with mrp and evolved into mrp2 so they, they start with material and then they expand to manufacturing then they expand to enterprise so enterprise resource planning involves integration of accounting and finance manufacturing human resources data analysis sales and marketing customer service and supply chain management on a single computer system so actually ERP is an integrated information system that support enterprise processes and data storage needs okay the end of part 2 thank you